Hello everyone, it's Benny, and welcome to the Advanced Redstone Computer Series. This video is just going to be an introduction, so I'm going to keep it pretty simple. All I'm going to do is answer one question. What are these videos going to do, and how are they going to do it? That way, if people aren't fully sure if they really want to see this series, they can know if they really want to without having to sit through two hours of videos first. So, how am I going to do the series, and what exactly am I going to do? first thing we're going to do in the series is we're going to look at what makes a computer and why. Because if I just sat here and I started making AOUs, started making all this advanced memory stuff, putting it all together and say, hey look, it magically makes a computer. That's like the equivalent of me putting you in a freight train, putting a gun to your head, and saying, drive. You know, it might teach you how to drive a train, but chances are it's just going to make you really confused and really scared. So, yeah. We're not going to be doing any of that. We're just going to take a step back. We're going to look at what is a computer. What makes it work? Why? That way, when we place down the redstone, you'll understand what we're doing and how that's actually going to make a computer in the end. And not just say, okay, maybe he'll explain it later. Maybe it'll make sense some other time. You'll actually know what you're supposed to be doing. So yeah. Now, after we've done all that, we're going to take a look at how we can actually do all that efficiently. Because once we have the general idea, you know, our goal is not to make a computational slow-mobile. We don't want to sit here and spend all this time making this really cool computer and just have it be slow as crap. That's... no. So in order to avoid all that, we're going to take some time and look at efficiency. And hopefully after all that, you'll understand how you can design things to be efficient. And we're going to start implementing some of those more efficient designs into the final computer. And as a result, our computer is just going to be that much more efficient. So, that's the second thing we're going to do. And finally, after we understand what we're doing, and how we can actually do it efficiently, we're going to take everything we're learned, and we're going to actually going to make it into a computer. And that strap's pretty much the most straightforward of them all. We're just going to sit down, we're going to build a computer. No tricks, no nothing. I mean, we're going to look at how everything we talked about goes into the final product. But for the most part, we're just sitting and building a computer. And, yeah. And after we've built the computer, after we've done all that, we're going to actually look at how we can use the computer. Because in my last series, I just sort of left you hanging and just said, okay, here's a computer, do what you want with it. We're going to take some time, and we're going to look at how to use the computer. How to program it to make do something cool, maybe play Pong or something. Actually, maybe not play Pong, that might be too complicated. But we're going to program it to do something interesting nonetheless. And then we're going to talk about how we can use it to actually, I don't know, be useful. And yeah, so that's ultimately what we're going to do in this series. If you want, you can stop watching the video right now. If I want, I could stop making the video right now. But I think it's only fair that I answer one more question before we move on. And that is, what do I mean when I say advanced Redstone computer? Because if you think about it, I can really mean anything when I say that. I can mean, hey, it can do addition and subtraction. Ooh, super fancy. Yeah. That's not really what I mean, though. And on the other hand, I could mean, oh yeah, we're going to make a computer with 500 cores and 257,000 bits of processing power. And yeah, I don't really mean that either. And there's actually lots of good reasons why I don't mean that. And there's actually lots of good reasons why that would be very bad to do. But I'll talk about that when I talk about all the efficiency stuff. What I really mean when I say advanced can be summed up in a single statement. It's going to have enough to be useful and nothing more. Because most computers up to now, but with Redstone, they're like, oh yeah, we have this really cool computer, and it takes up 10 million blocks, and it's ridiculously slow, and you can never actually do anything useful with it, but hey, it's a computer. No, I don't want that. That's, that's kind of pointless. I mean, it's nice as a decoration piece, but you're never going to be able to use it for anything useful. You might not be able to use it to play Pong, since I brought that up earlier. I mean, you could, but it'd take two hours per frame. I mean, if you wanted to build an automatic farming system, farming is a pretty common task in Minecraft, you're not going to really be able to do that very efficiently. It's probably going to be too slow to handle that. So, yeah, one big thing is I want it to be fast enough to be useful, and I want to have enough functions that it can actually be useful, because, I mean, try doing any task that involves multiplication on any other rest of the computer. Not going to work. They are going to perform multiplication ridiculously slow. It's not going to work out, yeah. 
So a lot of it's going to be speed, a lot of it's going to be features, but at the end of the day, the ultimate goal is just it has enough to be useful, and nothing more. So that's really all I want to say in the introduction. Hopefully it didn't take up too much time, and hopefully you understand if this series is really the best series for you to watch. So yeah, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned, and see you next time, where we will actually start looking at what makes a computer. Thank you, see you next time.